North America, the northern of two continents of the Western Hemisphere, joined to South America at the tip of Panama. The Arctic, Atlantic, and Pacific Oceans virtually surrounded the continent, a total area of 9,360,000 square miles. It is exceeded only by that of Asia and of Africa. This total includes Greenland, Central America, and most of the West Indian Island. North America is part of the New World, so-called because it was unknown to Europeans until comparatively recent times. From all part of the world have come its people, bringing a heritage of ideas and skills that stimulated its rapid development. North America is rich in mineral, water, and forest resources, and is a world center of agricultural and industry. North America has a wide diversity of landforms, represented by six distinct regions and many sub-regions. There are three lowland regions, the coastal plain, the Canadian Shield, and the interior plains, and three highland regions, the Appalachian Highlands, the North American Cordillere, and the Antillean System. The coastal plain extends along the eastern coast from Mexico to Cape Cod. It continues offshore as a continental shelf emerging southeast of Florida to form the Bahama Islands. The mainland portion of the coastal plain is narrow in the northeast but reaches a width of more than 400 miles in the lower Mississippi River Valley. The low, generally flat plain rises slightly as it extends inland where it is broad, broader by higher land, land for most of its length. The Appalachian Highlands lie west of the coastal plain, reaching from Alabama northeastward to the inland of Newfoundland. The region is a series of long, parallel mountain ridges lying between narrow plateaus on the east and west. These low, worn-down mountains reach their greatest height of 6,684 feet above sea level at Mount Mitchell in North Carolina. Elevation decreases in the southern and northern mountains. The Canadian Shield covers Greenland and much of central and northern Canada and extends into the United States in the Superior Uplands and the Arabic Mountains. It is composed of hard crystalline rocks scoured by glaciers that left hundreds of lakes. The plateau averages about a thousand feet above sea level, decreasing slightly westward and southward. The Interior Plains region is a vast, comparatively level expanse of occupying a large part of the co continent's interior. It lies between the Appalachian Highlands, the Canadian Shield, and the Rocky Mountains, and merges with the coastal plain to the south. There are two major subregions, distinguishing chiefly by their elevation. To the east are the central lowlands, which average about 600 feet above sea level. The second subregion is the Great Plains in the west. This relatively flat, grassy land extends gradually to a maximum of 6,000 feet at its western edge, the Rocky Mountains. Two small highland areas are often included within the interior plains, the Black Hills of South Dakota and the Central Uplands. The North American Corridor covers most of the western third of the continent. It is a complex highland region stretching from Alaska to southern Mexico and containing high mountains and broad plateaus. Its most prominent features are two great mountain systems, the Rocky Mountains and the ranges near the Pacific coast. The Rockies reach their, near, their highest elevation, more than 14,400 feet in Colorado, and gradually descend to the north and south. The Pacific Mountains, which is in some places are more rugged than the Rockies, have the continent's highest peak, Mount McKinley in Alaska, stands 20,320 feet above sea level, the highest point in North America. Between these two extensive systems are plateaus, basins, and scattered mountain ranges. This pattern continues southward where Mexico's central plateau is rimmed by the Sierra Madres on the east and west. A belt of volcanic mountains of south of Mexico City contains Mexico's